interceptions, no turnovers, and just operating at a really efficient level. They put Loveland in motion on first down. McCarthy will go to the air. Now they'll tuck it and run. Dive forward across the 25 to the 27. Of this Purdue defense. That's up third and seven. Morris in motion. McCarthy back to the air. Fires over the middle. Wide open. Roman Wilson. Big gain across the 45. Well, you kind of did the switch coverage, and Roman Wilson is picked up late in the backfield by Derek Rogers, the true freshman corner who is in because of the injury to Marquise Wilson. He's had to play a lot more the last couple weeks, and he's out with Donovan Edwards. They got a mistake. Now they're late getting there. Let's see if McCarthy can find him. Lops it, sideline. Edwards with a step. He's got it. Out of bounds at the one. 39-yard game. Right away because nobody's with him here. But he waits, and he allows a linebacker, Dominic Moon, to at least get out there. But that's a mismatch because Donovan Edwards is just like a wide receiver when he gets out there. And J.J. McCarthy knew he had a matchup in his favor. And drop. Johnson, the motion man, on second and five. Play action for McCarthy with good time. A dunk over the middle back to Wilson. Crossing the field and into a double team at the 42. Dylan down after a gain of 20. Yeah, they love this. Play action. They get great protection. Extra guys in there blocking. Clean pocket. And Roman Wilson on the deep crossing route. I mean, J.J. McCarthy. Edwards split out in the slot. Now motion. Pitch it to him. Edwards through the hole. And just loses his footing. Picks up four. As we look our, at our big shots presented by. Back up more stats. He said he is, it's killing him that he's technically behind Kadrian in the statistical categories. McCarthy and in completion looking for Loveland. And it's the Zen pass plays from a deep free safety spot. Morris in motion on third down. Swing it to him on the outside. He's got nothing but green grass in front. First down and more. Dumped out of bounds in the red zone. Thena 21. Nice use of the motion because they brought him to the field. Here's his defender. Then they brought him back outside. Impossible to recover on that play by Markevious Brown. The motion really threw him off. And then you saw Thieneman having to come and make the play from his deep safety position. Immediate red zone opportunity for their offense. Second and ten. Play action. McCarthy swing it. Edwards has to get away. And he can't. Antonio Stevens with a nice job. State. He and Colston Loveland lined up on the same side. McCarthy on third and ten. Fires. Incomplete. Great coverage on Loveland. First on the corner route and didn't like it. And then came to Colston late on the crossing route. Look him looking left at Wilson. He doesn't like it. Tries to dump it down to his next read and came in perfect position and coverage and knocks the ball away. Ball a little bit behind Colston Loveland. A little bit more and then also attack by throwing the football, which they've done. Play action for McCarthy. Plenty of time. Dumps it down for Corum. And Corum, the stutter step, will set up third down and to this offensive line. An excellent pronunciation by you on Olu's last name. Yeah. You deserve praise. First down for McCarthy. Swing it to the outside. Edwards again, but he drops it. Onto it. Sanusi Kane was yes, we talk about the edge rushers. We talk about Thienem in the safety. Sanusi Kane, Sanusi Kane has had an outstanding season as well. This is a good throw. It's kind of a back shoulder throw, and it's put in the right spot. But Kane just doesn't get for him. <laughs> Third and eight. After Morris was put in motion, McCarthy a dart is incomplete. In and out of the hands of A.J. Barner, the stop. Uh, it was Kane in coverage again. This ball was just thrown too far to the inside. I mean, Barner's got separation. That ball's thrown closer to the sideline. It's an easy catch for the first down, but it's thrown to the wrong shoulder. And Barner was not able to bring it in. Kind of forced that into the backfield and allowed Kane to make the tackle. Could be a free play at ends for McCarthy, who fires over the middle. It's caught by Loveland. A first down, Michigan. Uh, we just saw Emba make a penalties declined. It's first down. Really, the first time we're hearing from Chris Coit, the first penalty of the night. The thing about Loveland is he's big at six foot five, 245 pounds, but he's like a four five, four six speed guy. So he has excellent route running ability. First or second round pick with the talent that he possesses. Certainly as a blocker, he's improved as a pass catcher. First down throw for McCarthy. Wide open, Robert Wilson for a gain of eight. 
And the extra hit at the end, that's going to draw a penalty. Markeven. Yeah, you just can't do this if you're Purdue. I mean, you're already behind. It's Scorton. It, and, and then it's Emba, who's already had one penalty. There's no point in that. And then this is the dead ball, and that's why instead of 15 yards of penalties, it's 30 yards worth of penalty. Now, Sanusi Kane back in the game for this Purdue defense. McCarthy, deep drop, lofts it, incomplete on a deep hit. Samaj Morgan, the intended touch. Just running over basically the uh, the running back, the blocker, and they just fall to the ground together. This is not offensive holding. I mean, if anything, the linebacker grabbed Blake Coram's head on his way to the ground and pulled him down. Up to 130 yards. And a look for more here. McCarthy looking to get away. He won't. Major loss. Walmart plus play from above. First of all, the pressure is going to come here from Jenkins. And as JJ tries to step up in the pocket, there's push on the inside. And Brevard, the transfer from Penn State. Second and 27. We'll go back to the air again. McCarthy steps into one. A BB over the middle. It's caught down. Nice route. Cornelius Johnson is really good going into the middle of the field. He's a big body, and he's not afraid to go in there. He's not afraid to take a hit. Gets down underneath that in a stand-up position. Instead of being on the end of the line, he's in a linebacker spot. Big-time blitz. McCarthy dials it up on target for Roman Wilson, a first down. But it's off coverage. Here's the coverage right here, and it's an out route, so there's a lot of grass to the outside because Wilson was lined up in the slot. The outside receiver runs off the other coverage, and that's just a lot of room for Roman Wilson in one-on-one -on -one coverage against me. Play action. McCarthy lets it fly. Incomplete. Cornelius jumped from J.J., but it also looks like Johnson may have jumped too early and tried to catch it on the way back down, and it just went through his hands. Again, you're going to get a steady diet of man coverage against this Purdue defense. So Edwards always dangerous, catching out of the backfield. McCarthy, rifles. Oh, nearly hauled in, but Loveland couldn't squeeze it. It's third down. They went to zone coverage. They dropped both Scorton and Jenkins, and that's just a zone defender sitting down watching the quarterback and making a play on the football. Michigan was expecting man coverage. It was zone. McCarthy blows it up. Oh, he's wide open. Cornelius Johnson. Seven. I think he's coming backside to Johnson late. I think he was looking for Barner first. It was zone coverage. They've got all three timeouts with just over three minutes remaining. Morris in motion. McCarthy back to the air. Feeling the pressure over the middle. That's going to be short, and it's dropped anyway. Morris had it for a bullet on the way to the ground. Let's take a look at it again. Yeah, he clearly had it on the way to the ground. It's a catch, and the ball came out after he was... Quickly, right to Loveland, and a first down. Purdue still showing, man, now they drop into zone. And McCarthy recognizes it, extends the play across his body, wide open on the sideline. It's caught. What he's doing is he's going to scramble, watch him move in the pocket, read zone, but his eyes are downfield. He presses the line of scrimmage, and he makes Jenkins commit to the run. And then he throws the ball at the last minute. He draws the defense up, and then he throws to the open man. And that, but I would expect them to drop into zone. McCarthy gets rid of it. Oh, incomplete. And, now and it was his own defense. They showed man. They disguised. Purdue will send three all the way to the goal line. McCarthy. Gets away. McCarthy extends the play. McCarthy tripped up. Nick Scorton. KT, because Michigan has outscored their opponents 107 
zero in the third quarter of this year. McCarthy on first down, finds Wilson on the outside for six. And in motion, it forces the coverage to loosen up a little bit. Then when he comes back out the same side, he gets separation easily. Wilson, the motion man. McCarthy looking that way. Now surveys through his options. Escapes the rush. Fires and complete. First down to Loveland. See, this is what they decided to bring pressure. All right, so they're going to bring pressure, and they've got an unblocked guy. But McCarthy eludes him. He extends the play, rolls to his left, and he's been... ...are completed outside the pocket. That is an absurd number for a guy who has just improved mightily this season. Here he is on first down and just... Will leave it behind the line of scrimmage. Cadron Jenkins comes up. Three man rush. Drop an eight. McCarthy taking his time. Now the time runs out. McCarthy escapes. Fires on the run. Knocked away. Thieneman. Perk pulled on the coverage. They're showing pressure, but watch. They're going to drop everybody out and rush three. McCarthy leaves the pockets under duress by Scorton, tries to throw back across his body, and Thieneman there to knock it away. Kind of an ill-advised pass right there by James. Jim Harbaugh compared it to when you're going to a playground to play basketball, you got to assemble your team, and you got to keep winning to stay on the court. That's drop from Roman Wilson. Would have been a first down, but Markevia. He seems a little bit off on some of these throws. It's low and a little bit behind Roman Wilson. A nice job of mixing man and zone, particularly on third down. Another opportunity to get off the field, but McCarthy, a laser, goes behind Cornelius Johnson and in completion, but the ball's thrown behind. A little bit of pressure, but that's bad footwork by J.J. McCarthy. His left foot was kind of pointing one way, and he tried to throw it back to the middle. And credit the Purdue defense. Down a year ago, and amazing to see him back on the field with Buffalo this year. Uh, Michigan back to work. Get it to Samaj Morgan. He's a playmaker with a ball in his hands and then stopped in his tracks after he crosses the four to the 42. Well, we Johnson, the motion man, third and three. McCarthy, a dart. Roman Wilson, his go-to guy in a Purdue territory for a first down. Good job that time by crossing routes. Mesh routes versus press man-to-man -man coverage. So you got three receivers going in. Wilson goes in and comes back out. And he gets the completion. A short throw, but a nice concept there with the three receivers. Quarterback, like a national champion winning quarterback. We'll see J.J. McCarthy's hoping to add his name to that list as well. As he stands in the pocket, feels the rush, and delivers to Roman Wilson. That is just beautiful progressions from Jake. Right, he hasn't been as sharp as normal, completing about 60%, but he's got a good pocket. Gets a nice block from Donovan Edwards. He got three rushing touchdowns, two from Corum and one from the wide receiver Morgan, who's in motion. McCarthy looks that way, now fires towards the sideline. It's Loveland and a first down. Well, they're going to fake a screen. They're going to send the guy deep, and then they're going to run Loveland right into this area. Really well-conceived play. Fake the screen, send Roman Wilson deep, and then have single coverage on Loveland. And McCarthy makes the right choice of where to go with the ball. No panic, no need to run. Wait for something to open. Here he comes on second and eight. Patient again in the pocket and delivers to Morgan. Morgan gets away. And is tripped up by Sanusi Kane. Built into Purdue territory, 24 yards. Well, we just showed you a highlight package of this exact same thing. A little bit of pressure picked up by Donovan Edwards. No panic. There's bodies around you, but you keep your eyes downfield. You keep your feet calm. And you wait for something to open up. And Samaj Morgan with another big-time play. And some coordinator Kevin Kane on the Purdue side really stressed. They said when you watch this team, their pieces are all very similar as McCarthy is going to get taken down enough. And he also knows this move of McCarthy, this spin out move, and he's ready for it. So he rushes, but he's under control. And when McCarthy tries that spin out, he's right there ready. He is at a completely different place than it was last year. Third and 17, let's see what he does here. McCarthy unloads over the middle and complete, looking for Morgan. And that was Jenkins. Got sandwiched by Emba. 
play earlier today. He had two more touchdowns, but the yards yeah. were way lower. Yards, yeah. Exactly. And so we wonder what that does for his candidacy. J.J. McCarthy perfectly in the bucket for Roman Wilson. And another catch up over 100 now receiving for number one. When you run that slot, Dave, you just have so much field to work with. So he presses the defender inside, almost bobbled it and dropped it. Are those fourth quarter reps. You've got Barner still in there. You've got Donovan Edwards now in there. And McCarthy tried to get it over the middle to another list. He asked Tom were just really intelligent questions and have helped him as a football player on and off the field to make throws like that. Another one goes to Wilson to set up first and goal. Just finding the hole in the zone defense. Again, look at the eyes of McCarthy scanning the field and finds an opening in the middle to Roman Wilson, his go-to wide receiver. This could be Donovan.